So, you just got that new receiver, TV, or projector, and you notice that it has an IMAX Enhanced badge on it. Well, what is IMAX Enhanced, and what does it mean for your viewing and listening experience? Let's discuss. <laughs> So IMAX Enhanced is a licensing and certification program for high-end TVs, projectors, receivers, and even speakers. It meets a carefully prescribed set of performance requirements from IMAX and DTS engineers and Hollywood's leading technical specialists to deliver IMAX digitally remastered, high quality and sharp 4K HDR images with powerful, immersive sound. All certified devices will carry the IMAX Enhanced logo so you know that it's compatible with IMAX Enhanced content. Now, IMAX wants to bring the unique IMAX experience into your home with IMAX Enhanced, but how does it work? Do you need to buy new gear to get IMAX Enhanced or can your existing equipment be upgraded? Here's everything you need to know. So IMAX Enhanced has two parts, IMAX Enhanced devices and IMAX Enhanced content which is kind of like Dolby Vision devices and Dolby Vision content. So you'll see IMAX Enhanced certified televisions, speakers, and AV receivers, as well as IMAX Enhanced content on Blu-ray and streaming services in 4K HDR. As mentioned, IMAX Enhanced is similar to Dolby's ecosystem of Dolby Vision and Atmos devices and content. But IMAX Enhanced does a few things different that sets us apart from the Dolby ecosystem. A device with the IMAX Enhanced badge means that it meets certain performance standards set by IMAX and DTS. Now the devices are tested for resolution, color, brightness, contrast, viewing mode, and sonic fidelity. This guarantees consumers that if they buy a TV or AVR with an IMAX Enhanced badge, they're guaranteed to get the best experience for IMAX content. IMAX Enhanced devices also come with a special IMAX mode that is enabled when it detects any IMAX Enhanced piece of content. As part of this mode, your TV or projector will stop all of their external processing to ensure you see the content as it was intended to be watched. In fact, you can't even access this mode without IMAX Enhanced content, as this mode is basically hidden in the settings until it detects IMAX Enhanced content. Similarly, on AVRs or speakers, when IMAX mode activates, the sound is directed in a way that mimics the IMAX cinema experience. On the content side, the IMAX Enhanced badge brings several improvements to picture, sound, and scale fronts. All IMAX Enhanced content is either mastered or remastered to offer the best experience. Part of the mastering process utilizes IMAX's proprietary technology to reduce noise and grain, which can typically appear when content is shot on film from the IMAX Enhanced version. All of this is done under the filmmaker's guidance to preserve the artistic intent. Now, it's worth noting that IMAX Enhanced doesn't just improve image quality. It also leverages a version of the DTS-X format to bring the IMAX signature sound to the living room. So you should get the same sound available to consumers who watch an IMAX movie at your local cinema with deeper bass and more dynamic range. Finally, if a movie was shot with IMAX cameras or formatted for IMAX theaters, its IMAX enhanced version comes with an expanded aspect ratio of 190 to 1. It offers up to 26% more picture than the typical widescreen film aspect ratio of 239 to 1. So when you watch an IMAX enhanced movie on your TV, you'll see more picture and less black bars. Hey, what's up? You've made it this far in the video, so welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. If this is your first time visiting the channel and you're enjoying the content that I produce here, why don't you go ahead and do me a solid, hit the subscribe button, let your friends know about the channel, and hit the bell notification so you know when I post new content. And if you're enjoying this video, why don't you go ahead and hit the like button. It'll help the channel grow, and I would greatly appreciate it. All right, well, I guess that's it. I'll let you get back to the video.
Fortunately, while IMAX Enhanced Certified Devices offer a better experience, you can still watch IMAX Enhanced content on any TV, even if it doesn't have the capabilities to support IMAX Enhanced, and you'll still get the benefits like expanded aspect ratio and a clearer picture. However, you will miss out on the true IMAX signature sound and any optimizations that IMAX mode makes on the certified devices. But seeing as the selection of IMAX enhanced content is extremely limited right now, it's better just to wait and watch. For the best experience, IMAX recommends a large screen 4K HDR TV, preferably 65 inches or larger, and DTS suggests going for a 7.2.4 system, which I have in my theater featuring seven speakers, two subwoofers, and four heights for audio. But you can still have a good experience with a 5.1.4 system. All right, so who is making IMAX content and where can you find it? Marvel Studios, Paramount Pictures, and Sony Pictures are working with IMAX to create IMAX enhanced versions of their existing and upcoming movie catalogs. Disney Plus has already released updated content for many of their Marvel cinematic movies to support IMAX Enhanced. So back in 2020, Sony Pictures announced that they were teaming up with IMAX in what would be an exciting endeavor to bring IMAX Enhanced films right to your home. And according to the company, over the next two years, they'll be releasing hundreds of films on their TV streaming service, Bravia Core. The Bravia Core app is a video service included with eligible TV models. Now, this app offers access to a range of new releases and classic films, including the largest IMAX enhanced movie collection with lossless ultra HD quality with pure stream and more. The downside to this, however, is Bravia Core is only available on OLED and 4K TVs that feature the X1 processor chip. So if you have an older Sony TV, then you won't be able to access any IMAX enhanced content through the app since you won't be able to download the app as it's tied to the TVs with the X1 chip. And so far, there's been no announcement on whether older TVs or AVRs can be updated to support IMAX enhanced. All right, guys, well, that's gonna conclude this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and hopefully now you know what IMAX enhanced is if you didn't know what it was before. So that brings us to the query of the week. This week's query is, do you have any devices in your home theater that support IMAX Enhanced? And if so, how has it benefited you in your viewing experience? Do you think it's a gimmick or do you think it's legit? Let me know in the comments. All right, guys, well, once again, thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm Hater Cowboy, and this is Hater Cowboy Cinema.